Hello everyone and welcome to this Profit Protector Pro video. In this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can set and automate your min and max automation with the Profit Protector Pro software. So without further ado, let's dive in. So on the left here, obviously I've personally only got the UK marketplaces, hence why that's the only tab showing up. But if you have got other marketplaces, then what you can do is go to your settings up here, go to your account and then under my account, you can turn on the marketplaces that you need. But obviously for this example, most people are in the UK watching this. Um, but if you're not, you can set them up, as I just said up there with my account. And then the other marketplaces will come on here as their own square. Okay, so let's dive in. So what do you want to do here? How do we set up the minimums and maximums? Okay, so this is the minimum, this box here, and this is the maximum. So what you want to do is head to ROI. Um, you want to head to the ROI, you'll head to pick whichever one you want, okay, so buy box, break even, ROI. Personally, I'm going to go for the ROI here, and then I'm going to set a minimum of 30% here, okay, for the example, so I'm going to say plus 30% or minus 30%, now obviously I'm going to be plus 30% because I don't want to have my minimum set at minus 30% because that could be quite bad, um, but here's the 30% minimum that I've set there, so it's very simple, type it in there. Um, and then you want to put, and at least, I put one pound profit, okay? And you can put, or at least, and then you can put no further conditions, okay? So it's up to you. Personally, I've put, and at least, because I would personally like at least one pound profit and 30% ROI with this calculation. But obviously, depending on whatever you take, you may just want to set it with no further conditions if you're a really high volume seller that sells, you know, sometimes just with pennies of profit. Okay, obviously, we've got the pound sign there, and then you want to toggle this on there. You then want to move into your maximum price here, which is the obviously, once again, exactly the same ROI. I've set mine at 120% because obviously I have got some items that are very high ROI. And then I've actually put no further conditions there. And you could put, once again, a pound there, uh, a certain pound sign that you would like. But I've personally put no further conditions because I'm happy with 120% ROI. And I've already set the minimum there of one pound. And then you want to toggle that on. You want to click apply to all inventory, okay? Obviously, if you want to apply to all your inventory and then click save changes there. Now, a few things to note, if you have done this, then if you have got any odd item, maybe it's an RA item or something like that, any any items that possibly you would not want them to be this, this ROI, okay, and you're not happy with that, then I would suggest strongly that once you've saved the changes, you go to them specific items and change them individually. Otherwise, every single one of your items will be set at this mins and max. Now, it can take a few hours, up to say 12 to 24 hours to update this, so don't panic if it doesn't update straight away. Um, but that just shows you a live example of how you set your minimums and maximums. Very clear, very simple, very effective, saves a lot of hours, a lot of time. Okay, so I hope that video's helped.